Alrighty guys, welcome back for those of you guys just joining in or watching from the uh, inevitable YouTube highlight that will go up. We're going to be doing the rest of Act 4 here. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> We've got, uh, I don't know how many zones there's going to be, only probably a couple of zones, but there's going to be like something like three new bosses we're going to be encountering here for the first time ever, and I've heard they're pretty hard. I haven't looked at any spoilers or anything yet, so uh, let's check it out. Let's of course talk to Diala first. Lovely and lovely. Facets so shiny, replete with the vim of murdered souls. My Malachi did the crafting. Beautiful work. General Adis did the murdering. Equally beautiful work, in its own juicy way. And Diala can be quite dark, right? Num Num's time. <laughs> Num Num's. My little rapture. <laughs> Have you ever been to the end of the world before, my king? Asked the blackest monkey. No, I have not, realized the monkey king. There is my reason to go where you go, be where you be, my king, concluded the blackest monkey in a voice as warm and welcoming as death. Do you know who wrote that? Not a cockroach? Victorio Navalius, the people's poet of Sanon. He was my friend, and I betrayed him. Took his love and burned it before his eyes. Now I am betrayed. My heart burned black by the one man I loved. Malachi. He's found a new heart, you see. A beast's heart to cuddle Ooh. up to. To keep him warm and safe at the end of the world. Today. I remind Malachi of his betrayal. Today, it is his turn to Oh, burn. shit! Don't die. Getting new chills, no chills. New chills, what? <laughs> Dildozer! No, Diala, your beauty. Malachi's devices. His creations. He loves them all. Not me. He betrayed me then, said he loved me, then said he wanted me to die. He betrays me now, let me suffer, let me wither. Am I the one and only mistake that you ever made, Malachi? Yes, that's me, Diala the Gemling Queen. Malachi's misdemeanor. Make him regret his mistake. Not a cockroach. Tear open the beast's black heart. Rip Malachi from his filthy little nightmare. Cut him. Crush him. Burn him from existence. He deserves no better. And I deserve no worse. No love for me. No love. No love. No love. Dial is quite the interesting Don't character, die, isn't he? Please. Isn't she? The, uh... Robbed of her beauty and her cleanliness that she oh so loved when we first met her. Oh no! <laughs> Nightmare made real. Oh no! What is this place? Where are we? The belly of the beast, level one. And of course, my dog chooses this time to open my door. All right, we've literally entered the belly of the beast. The mountain itself is practically a living being. Looks like we have some uh, little skeletal dudes in here. They have like animals heads. You know what's really freaking creepy about this zone though, guys? Oh, listen to that music though, I'm turning it up. Look at these eyes, you ready? Look at these eyes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh damn. Oh, what the cocoon? Hold on. You open it up, it's like a mouth on the inside there. Oh, these little floating eye things that we uh we got a teaser of in maps a while back. They like explode into a bunch of little eyeballs when when they die. Check it out. <laughs> Look at the little eyeballs fall down onto the ground. Oh shit, what's on that? Oh, what? What is doing that? 
Oh god, I love the music in this zone. How good is it? Yeah, the eyes just constantly follow you as you move through here. Damn, these guys are like uh, nastier versions of the skeleton things from uh, earlier zones. Like, it... Wait, hold on, what's this guy? Oh, let me kill these things. I need to look at this dude a bit more. Marrow Chewer. Something's blowing up things in this zone. I don't know what it is. This guy's got kind of like a nasty spread out barrage. Rather than barrage being in the one location, sort of spreading it out in a little bit of an arc there. It's pretty interesting. That felt disturbingly good. We'll be taking it slow and checking out in detail the different mobs and uh, scenery and stuff. I'm very excited. These guys do like a mini ball lightning, it looks like. Um, hold on. And, and like kinetic blast, I think? I think I remember hearing them about doing kinetic blasty maps. Yeah, a little mini ball lightning. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so funny when they die, the little, all the little eyeballs falling down. It's quite satisfying. <laughs> Can you imagine like a pack size pack of those just getting wiped out? All the little eyeballs falling. Damn, watch out. You might slip over them like marbles or something though. And constantly the eyeballs follow us. Yeah, that thing was kind of like a praying mantis. Stop following me, eyeballs! Oh, there's like all these little grubs and stuff in here as well. Oh, what are these dudes? They kind of have like a slow tentacle miscreation style projectile. Really slow moving, it looks pretty easy to dodge, sidestep. I think I remember seeing these things in maps. There was a couple of these mobs were spoiled in maps a little while back. We're a little under level. This is a zone 38 with 35. Not too bad. Three levels under is not too bad. We'll catch up in a moment. You think the the zone is exploding? I'm not sure what was causing the, the mobs to explode, because there's nothing around when it first happened. I am using Magma Orb as the main skill I'm using, and as a new skill. A spell that uh, is a projectile, but it bounces, and when it hits the ground, it creates an AoE explosion. Oh, check out these guys. This guy's basically Mr. Skeletal. Thank. Stop following me, eyeballs. Yeah, I love this uh, this track from Belly of the Beast. So good. So th those ones kind of do like uh, something here is proccing. Oh, it could be this thing. Oh, what? Eye hatchery? Wow, Diablo 2 nostalgia much. It's like the little bat hatchery things. It spawns out little eyes. What? Cool. So something, maybe the maybe the eye hatchery or something was doing that kind of uh, that gore call, I guess. <laughs> the other ones were like frost frost call and stuff like that. This one, I guess, is like gore call. Chats full of doot doots. I don't need any of this stuff. Come back, fire brawlum. I need your help, man. All right, that's an extra fizz damage aura there, and these guys do. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure it's kinetic blast. Definitely a one skill, unless they changed it. Oh yeah, it looks like this guy is doing that gore call thing. I'm 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 dubbing it gore call. Oh, these are new mobs. What are these things? S giant snake things? Taster. Ugh. They're kind of like snakes with kind of like a flowery style head. What do they do? Regular attacks. Do they have any other attacks? That doesn't seem too nasty. Everything is pretty damn creepy looking though in this zone, right? GGG really trying to make everyone feel uncomfortable with the uh, the new act. Even the sounds of the cocoons opening <laughs> is pretty uncomfortable. Uh, I did not go back for the quest reward from... Uh, well, we're about to go into the next zone here, so let's, this is a good time to allocate our passive and go back for the quest reward. Hopefully we'll get this resistance before we move on to what is potentially some bosses soon. Yeah, so previously in the beta when you, um, when you completed... Uh, when you completed the Resto and Calm quests, 
You are able to buy some more gems. Maybe Diala gives something now. Oh, so she gives you, she actually gives the quest reward now as well, and then you can go buy these afterwards. So you get access to GMP, multi strike, spell echo, chain, increased area effect, all these really nice ones. When you get halfway through Act Four, basically, so it's pretty pretty nice. Um, I don't know, GMP is not too super useful. I do want to test chain on this, but um, I might grab AOE for now. They I can't really use any of these for a few levels anyway. Love this town music, right? So good. Oh, Spell Echo. I totally want sp Why didn't I take Spell Echo? That would have been way more useful. <laughs> anyway, they're pretty yes. cheap to buy. They only cost like an Alka, I think. Alright, well, I'll try and get an Alka and I'll buy the Spell Echo. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't buy Spell Echo, though. Or take Spell Echo. That would have been so much more useful. Oops. Alright, no biggie. We're, we're progressing just fine with our current setup, anyway. Alright, Belly of the Beast 2. Is it just me or does zone look slightly purple? More purple. More of the gut flares. Oh, these ones like have a melee attack. They like throw out. It oh, looks like they puncture as well. All right, watch watch the punctures in here. They kind of like throw out their little tail thing and uh, punctures you. Spell like I one out. Yeah, it's pretty good value, right? <laughs> Those things usually sell for like five chaos plus and new legs. Oh, this zone's pretty spoopy with all these Mr. Skeletals. I have nothing more to give. <laughs> Brolem health so low. <laughs> Poor Brolem. Oh, what a piety is Miss Creations doing in here? Maybe that's maybe that's a little bit of mob casting. They don't seem too out. They don't seem too out of place here, though. Uh, let me see. Are these guys don't connect blast, or what are they doing? I wanna see them actually shoot one. Yeah, we'll see. We'll test the next pack. This place actually doesn't have eyes, but instead has these kind of, like, tentacle things. Tentacles with, like, little, like, thorns on them. Oh, Tormented Spirit, probably not gonna be able to kill you in time, I don't think. Especially not with totems. <laughs> oh, we pushed her into a rare, good stuff. Oh, they put, like, tar down? Okay. So they basically, they have, like, a, uh, <laughs> a panic tar. They basically poop themselves and slows you down. I haven't seen any unique mobs yet uh, in these zones, like little mini-bosses. It's possible they'll be added at a later date. Throughout the course of the beta, they added a bunch of stuff, so they could be adding them uh, later, putting finishing touches on them. Or, uh... With the amount of bosses we're about to engage, apparently. Maybe there won't be any. Uh, golems all, are, all have a little bit of energy shield, I think. Just just a small energy shield on them. So they can take the occasional hit without their health being chipped away. Mm, couldn't really tell if that was Kinetic Blast or not. Here's one. Let's see, eat some hits from him. Nah, uh, that just looks like a regular wand attack, basically. They might have taken the Kinetic Blast off, which is probably a good thing, because Kinetic Blast was the sort of skill where it's like, it's fine sometimes, but then when you're standing next to a wall or something, um, all of a sudden, infinity damage. Yeah, new mobs can mean new Spectre opportunities. Uh, I don't know which of these ones could potentially be useful. The belly of- the bowels of the beast! Whoa, damn! It's poopy music. Let's do it. Piety! What?! Party?! What?! <laughs> Re-encounter with party?! Oh my god, I was not expecting this. Oh my god, look at her. She's got a giant eyeball head. What the fuck is that thing? Whoa, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, so I think we want to like slowly move around here. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? Oh, it does bleed stacks. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Get close, get close, get close, get close. Can we leap over it? 
We can't leap over it. That wrecks us. Okay. Be very careful. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, so this one we kind of want to get it. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh, get in close. Okay, we're okay. Alright, so she, she seems to throw those around pretty randomly, maybe. Oh no, they are targeted towards me, sort of. Oh, jeez! Alright, this is good. We got ahead of her here. Gotta get in close! <laughs> gotta use those angles! Oh, she's got like a cleaving attack as well. Like a Dominus style bleed cleave. Damn, that ability though. Oh man, it's so scary. <laughs> She's like some sort of like mining laser thing or something. Jesus. Damn, that is so creepy. Oh man, I'm so glad we got to see Piety again. And uh... In quite the form too. Oh my god, that Rex. Damn, I was gonna do so much damage in the later difficulties. This is just normal difficulty as well. Let's not make this Whoa, okay. <laughs> We got her again. Oh, we get to talk to her this time. I found a scrap of leather, a brisk scrap. Yay! Hold on, let me grab some of these dudes. All right. Hey, she's back to, uh, she's, she seems shinier than she used to be. I was always told to respect my betters. Not once did I ever consider taking that advice until meeting you. Part of me wishes I'd died at your feet as was intended. The little girl within me that shies from darkness from greatness. It was Malachi who reached out to me, who wrapped me in nightmare, made me his slave. He has shown me greatness beyond imagining, so much that I thought my mind would shatter under its weight. And although my mind remains intact, my dreams were not so fortunate. Malachi is in the beast's black core right now, harnessing all that the beast is and will be. He will destroy this world and forge it anew in the divine image of Nightmare. Yet as powerful as Malachi has become, he is neither unreachable nor invulnerable. He sacrificed much to become the beast's prime servant, both in spirit and in flesh, yet three vital organs. Mm. His heart, lungs, and entrails. Keepsakes of humanity lost. They will be our tickets into Malachi's private little shop. Party is switching signs. Deep into Nightmare's avatar. I'll follow when I'm able. You find me those organs, and I'll get us into the Black Core. So we have to hunt down his organs so that we can progress and get to him. Let's uh, talk to this one here. Malachi chose his three most loyal servants to guard those precious innards. His godless three. Inquisitor Malagaro, Chevron of Umbra, and Doedri Darktar. If the history books are accurate, High Templar Vol burned Malagaro and Doedri at the stake on his way to lay siege to San. He didn't have to worry himself with Chevron. Brutus had already sought him out. Yet slaves of Nightmare seem to be shackled just as tightly to life as they are to the beast. I, of course, am living proof of that. Don't worry yourself with that little detail, though. Shackles are made to be unlocked. Three boss fights, three organs. That's what I think's gonna happen, and then the beast boss fight. Damn, I was not expecting to encounter Piety here, that's awesome. And she was such a good example too of the, like, the beast corruption. Like, the way she was twisted and her abilities and everything. Oh my god, that was a sick boss fight. That was such a cool encounter. Alright, where are we going here? The Harvest. Oh shit. <laughs> 